a tag team championship level introduction by Steve Monster Mac as the Tri-State Saints will take on a debuting main event here for the Catalyst Wrestling Tag Team Championships. Of course, operated under Freebird free rules. And while they are making their debut in Catalyst, they are known the professionally world over is the main event. And while not a debut, this is the first time Catalyst is seeing G's and Joker together in traditional tag team uh, contest. Well, what's the benefit, though, of having that free bird rule, being able to rotate partners at any, at any point? Well, the benefit for the champion is no matter who challenges, they don't know exactly what they're going to deal with. Hard to game plan for what team, what combination it's going to be. Of course, the champions are the ones who made the challenge that anyone brave enough to step in to the ring with Joker and G's. And now, G's and Midas Black, the ringleader, squaring off. Shows a lot of bravery to step in there. Oh, and taking oh. his hat. G's oh. looks good in it. How disrespectful is G's. Look at that hat still on. It matches Jesus' trunks. G should keep it. I'm mocking. That should be a donation Midas to the Black. church. That should be a donation to the church. Picking up ahead of Look steam. Jumping over. Caught by G's. Stand and switch. And taking it back. Was Black. Oh. oh ho, ho, ho. A little bit of misdirection with the standing drop kick. And G's. G's is still trying to figure out this team. But tagging in the Cambodian axe murderer. Joker and Jay Lyon in the ring. Cambodian axe murderer. Lion, of course, trained in karate, jujitsu, and Muay Thai. And the art of Lucha Libre caught. Throwing Joker. The, the pace picking up in wow. this match. Wow. The roar of the heavyweight cruiserweight. Echoes through the halls of Chilos. And Joker caught a bit unaware. Wow! Kick. Unorthodox speed. How do you prepare? How do you prepare for Jay Lyon? Well, look at Black G's calming down Joker. And Mac. Mind you, this 60 years experience almost in that ring. 20 years from Steve Mack and from Black G's alone. And now Joker. Ex-Army. And brutal in every sense of the world. Oh! oh. oh. You talk about brutal, Steve! That is the most disgusting thing I have seen in this Catalyst ring. Driving those ropes into the intestines. Jay Lyon. Now G's. Separating him from his tag team partner. Drop to a hole. And now, I'm trying to... Looks like G's was trying to take off Lion's mask. That's exactly what it looked like. Just secured it, but that opportunity to secure his mask opened up the opportunity for Joker to hit that drop kick. One count only. Has Jay Lion 
ever been in such danger as he's in right now. The five year. Church's money. Feeling real cool and confident right now, and I don't blame him. Church's money coming to collect his right. Oh, but driving the shoulder. Yeah, that's an unfamiliar corner. Jeez does not want to be there. Tagged in with Lions. Lions tagging in uh, Midas Black, rather. Look at this. Oh. Acrobatic display by this circus show. Main event had a rough start, but they're looking good right now. The Could they look like champions by the end of the night? And here we go, gonna fly through the middle rope. The daring young man on the flying trapeze. Taking out Joker, but you saw. And he did it without a net. He did it without a net. Oh, you got, what do you think, your president Jack funny? Ha <laughs> ha! And I didn't even have to get elected. Stiff jabs. I liked your pun there. What do you like? I like that pun. Oh, back elbow. The thing about Jesus is so explosive. He closed the gap so quickly, and with he's not quick so much as he's sudden. Yes. Well said. Uh, I mean, he's quick too, but he's especially sudden. Like throwing a brick of concrete at somebody. You know, when we use the adjective methodical, you know, that's exactly what Black G's represents. That's exactly who he is. Because when he makes a move, every move, every move has a point. And Monster Mac, you see on the outside, giving instructions to G's as a Cambodian axe murderer stretching the skin. Digging the hooks in, come on. Yeah, the yeah. referee's got to get control. There's no mask to rip off, just face. Hold on, Mac may have got caught interfering. Mac tried to. The referee trying to keep some semblance oh. of legality here. <laughs> that chop should be illegal. One. One count only for the championship here. Oh, hard shots to the face. Hyper aggressive is what's been used to define Joker. That mix of Japanese strong style oh, and a roughneck energy. Cover one, two. Still kicking out. No hook in the leg there, though. I don't think Joker really wanted the pin there. It was just more to belittle. No, no, jo Joker has a chip on his shoulder. He's been very disrespected since being here. I mean, we saw one contest with somebody in the audience, some jerk just threw a bottle into the ring at him. And, 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 and I hope they remove that guy from the building. We, the elbows. I haven't seen him since. No, and we're all paying for it because the Tri-State Saints have been running rough shot through Catalyst ever since. Now, Midas Black in a heap of trouble here. Has to make the tag. But unable to barely, he could barely stand at this point. Referee's got to think about potentially stopping this matchup, but wait. But as I said, the fight instincts has to make the tag. Can he reach? Can he make the tag? Reach, stretch out. Midas Black is showing me a lot. Tag made to G's and tag made to Lion. Here we go. The animal back in the ring. The Circus Savage with the big forearms on G's. Moves into the ropes, countered. Goes to go around the horn. Inzaguri by Jay Lyons. But it's one hand. Spinning him around. Spinning him around. Oh, nailed. I believe he calls that the 
circle of life cover. One, two. And J Line has no worries. You should be worried about the rest of the Tri State Saints. Many men have tried to take the tag championships away. None thus far have been successful, but the main event in their debut. Oh! We're faring a little better before that lariat. Cover one, two. Oh, broken up. And like you said, sudden. Sudden. Jeez is suddenly in your face. Suddenly capturing that pinfall. And suddenly thrown into the middle rope. I well, hope main event capitalizes. This is the gold, guys. Shades of Rey Mysterio with the 619. Tag made. And now, Steve Mack. Distracted by the referee, knocks him down. Oh. Knocking Mack down. Springboard. Lion Salt. The legal man. Come on, oh, kid, hook the leg! Wait a minute, the referee's not counting. He said he he's not the legal the, man. He didn't see the tag. Thanks to Monster Mac, didn't see the tag. Wait, you speak about Monster Mac, look, look right now. Oh, no. No. Oh. Fire, thunder, driver. How are you not seeing us? Wait, hold on, you're telling me the referee didn't see Monster Mac there? One, two. All this confusion. You gotta be kidding me. All this confusion has led to the champions retaining their gold. There's no confusion about it. You saw Monster Mac distract the referee, so they did not see the main event had this one. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not arguing with you. But that's the problem when you have the man on the outside. Dominic De Niro sporting some crutches. You hate to see it, but it, whoa, oh my goodness. And, 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 and the action has begun. Boom Harden taking the place of Dominic De Niro. We've seen him work with the Saints before. He is a protege of Steve Monster Mac. But he carries the weight, not just of the reputation of his mentors, but the weight of the gold. The gold is still on the line. Great moonsault by Rob Kiljoy. Tandem action, almost a three. Not even three minutes into the bell. And we almost had new champions. White Mike looking good. Atomic drop by White Mike. White Mike, a good friend of Rob Kiljoy. That's known his good friend? Yeah, they've known each other for quite some time. All right. One, two. That is the second pinfall attempt. By the ugly sucklings. Boom, hard and down with a scoop slam. Great offense by these two. This is an interesting contest because Boom Harden has to take the place of Dominic De Niro. 
And we know that the Tri-State Saints don't take loss well. In fact, they don't lose much at all. They don't take loss well. He's representing perhaps the strongest faction in Catalyst right now. A large part because of Monster Mac. Strong, strong man, Monster Mac. Big slashes into the corner, both sides. There we go. My goodness, taking down the whole Duck Armada by himself with the Infinity, uh, the Infinity Man, T.I.M. Back in his Timmy Lou Retton days. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Rob Kiljoy can adapt to any sort of partner. We have actually seen that from him. Yes. He's, he's had partners, all types, all sorts of success. The guy is a versatile athlete. That said, will this be the combination that can dethrone our current champs, the Tri-State Saints? Not looking like it right now. Boom Harden, this is not his first time here in Catalyst. And you can see the confidence in his eyes as he takes on our, our relative newcomer, White Mike. Well, it's like you say, it's like we were saying before. Sometimes what some of these young, young guys need is to get around the right people to give them a little edge, to give them a little force, get them a little force. And here we go. You see Steve Mack taking advantage while the referee's back is turned. That's just smart wrestling. I like the way, I hate to say it, but I like the way that Boom was using the ropes to his advantage, pushing down on it while pressing his own body weight against Mike's traps. That's smart, using the ring as a weapon. Underhanded, but smart. <laughs> I mean, you got to use every tool at your disposal if you want to hold on to gold here in Catalyst Wrestling. Look at that. Crushing the temples is Monster Mac. Just disgustingly violent. And, and you can see that he does not care about the fans' cheers. You could quack all you want. That's not going to stop Mac from the attack. Big squeeze in the trapezius muscles. That's gonna make it hard to get any sort of offense with that arm afterwards. It's almost like a claw-like maneuver. I'm quite sure Mike is right-handed. He's gonna have trouble throwing those right hands. He's gonna have trouble standing up if this offense continues. Killjoy's been to this dance before, but it's been too long since he's had some championship gold around his waist. He's had an opportunity for the Catalyst Championship. Catalyst Tag Team Championship is now up for grabs. And it's safe to say Killjoy misses the feeling of gold around his waist. I mean, it was a brief feeling for him. How, how hard could he miss it? I mean, seriously. Disrespectful slap by Boom. Here we go, right back to it. Yeah, Boom goes the right hand. Front face lock. Oh, oh, the reversal into the Falcon Arrow. Desperation. Willing, the, willing Boom's body over his shoulders. But in comes Monster Mac. And there will be no tag right now. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Now's your chance. In comes Killjoy. Over Boom. Drop kick. Deep into the chest of Monster Mac. Down goes Boom. Right hand. Rob Killjoy is like a duck on rabies. Oh. Big explosive suplex. Does he want the ref to quack along with him? I don't think that's going to happen. Dominic De Niro on the outside. Getting a hold of Killjoy. There we go. That momentary distraction was enough. Ooh. Still with the offense. Stiff in the back. What a kick. That's enough to slow anybody down. But will it be enough for a three count? And Mac is finding his way in the high rent district. Not something we see from him that often. And often I wouldn't recommend it. When you got gold on the line, you pull out all the stops. Rob Killjoy trying to muster the strength to take Mac down. Perhaps with Mike. All three men. Wait, hold on. Boom uh, Harden. Uh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Boom. This isn't good for anybody. Everything comes tumbling down. The Tower of Doom crumbles. Now, who, now the real thing is, which legal man gets up first in this situation? Boom is covered. Mike, personally, I, I think I've lost track of who's the legal man. I thought it was uh, uh, Mike and, uh, no, Killjoy and Steve, but apparently I'm wrong. That's why I'm not wearing the zebra shirt. Perhaps Nick Shim, probably our best official here in Canada. Yeah, I, I'm not opening up that debate, but he's definitely a tiger among zebras. Certainly, he does a great job on these chaotic tag team matches, I've noticed. And, and that's a good thing, because there's a lot of chaos still going on right now. Screwdriver. Mike with that spinning and Paler DDT. Whoa! That's the kind of offense. We have oh. new champs! We have new champs! Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, I am happy for Rob Kiljoy, who absolutely deserves this. And what a debut for White Mike. But the Tri-State Saints have been uncrowned. And that can't spell good news for Boom Harden. But let's look at the good news. A brand new world. A brave new world. A whole new frontier for Catalyst Wrestling. And we have new tag team champions in the Ugly Sucklings.